Hi, my name is Moala and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about before X dialog and actually input dialog like this. Input dialog is a kind of dialog which has only one input edit text and you can force your user to type only numbers, for example, or to type only one email. And after typing his email, after valid email, this one will be activated. Otherwise, no. Let's see. The first thing is to activate the library. So here I can type XUI views, this one, and I can activate that. And then it's time to initialize that as one variable inside global area. Let's make it public. And then I can initialize it here. I explained them a couple of times in my previous tutorial. Okay. And now I can use it here. I told you about this, about show. It shows a simple text with three buttons. And in previous discussion, we talked about custom which you can design whatever that you like inside designer, you know, any kind of layout and you can load it there. So far, you know, this one and this one is enough for us, but this one, it makes your developing faster. You can design whatever you like by this one, but this one can make it faster. So it's already designed, you know, a kind of list, a kind of input, a kind of other things. Okay, let's use this one. Okay, about this one, this template, I will speak about that later in another tutorial, but you can run this, you know, example here. But now let's use something very simple. The first thing, it needs a template and then those three buttons. Let's look at that template. I type B4X template. I have color template, date template, input template, list, long text, search, signature, and time. Wow, you have variety of things. And it can help you a lot while developing something. And this is one of the beautiful thing about before A. It makes your developing faster. Very good. So for now, let's use input. The first thing is to initialize that. And then let's see what we have. Input dot. Um, input is one edit text. You know, like edit text that we have inside designer. Like this one. So you will see one edit text, but with some features that you can configure them. So for example, configure for numbers. I only need numbers. So I don't want to allow my user to type, for example, normal letters. It's only numbers. Which kind of number do you want? Do you want decimal? Is it allowed in your edit text? Do you want negative numbers? If you don't know about decimal numbers, this is a kind of decimal number. And this is a negative number. So I say false. I don't want it to be decimal. I say false. I don't want it to be negative. So I only need positive numbers like this. Very good. Now I can use it here, input. The rest of things is like before. Okay button, I don't need no button and cancel. So your user is typing something there. What do you want to do with what is typed there? First, I need to wait for my user 
to type something inside this dialog. So let's wait for that dialog. Wait for what? That dialog, the result of this dialog. So easily you can drag it inside this. Very simple. And then once that is complete, I need to know the result R as integer. So the result of this dialog, not the result, the input result about these three buttons, OK and cancel. I want to wait for that to see whether, you know, um, the user has completed, you know, typing an integer inside this input. I need to know the result, whether he clicked on OK or cancel. So if he clicked on OK, if R is equal to XUI response positive, if I click on positive, I want to get the text or actually the number which the user has typed inside this. So I can get that this way. Inside input, you have panel and base and one text field. And the text of that text field. And let's easily log that. Very good. I think this is ready. And it's time to test that. Okay, this is a dialog. As I explained for you before, you can get rid of this border around that. You can have border radius and you can have one title here. But for now, let's just leave that. And now I'm trying to tie to enter, for example, A, B, C, D, but it, it's not working. Why? Because it's waiting for one number. And this, okay, look at this gray, you know, color. But once I enter something, wow, it, this is colored. And that is accepted. And you can see that here. Let's look at other features of input template. Here you can type something and even this one, you can change that. How? Let's see. First, let's see how to change this one. That is one LBL or before X view. Here you can access it this way. LBL dot, as you see, this is one before X view. So if you want to change the text, you can change it like this. I want to get rid of that, for example. And you can change the color, the border, whatever you like. And the hint text, actually, this way. Type a number. Let's see. Okay, as you see, I have something which is written here and uh, there is no text here. Again, I cannot type one letter and only I can enter one digit and then it will be locked here. Something which I really like about input template is, you know, you can have one pattern for that. Regex pattern. I hope that you are familiar with regex. Uh, you can define any kind of pattern that you like by regex, but you need to be familiar with that. If you are not familiar with that, you can easily Google that. For example, I only need my user to enter one email, nothing else. And once his email is valid, I want the OK button to be green. How to do it? I need to define one a pattern here in the format of regex but I want to google that let's see inside google I can type for example email regex and stack overflow I can find something wow there are many answers here 
For example, one which is here, it's very long, I don't like it. Let's find something very small and simple. Okay, this one. Very small and simple. And I paste it here. But I don't need what is in the beginning and at the end of this string. This is a pattern. You need to be familiar with regex. Okay, here type your email. Very good. This regex pattern makes input very powerful. For example, as you see, oh my God, now I can only type numbers because I forgot to make this one commented. Okay, let's run it again. Yes, now I can type whatever that I want, any kind of letter. But as you see, this is not green. So I need to type one email, for example, at blah, blah, blah. And now that is activated, okay. For example, dot com. And once I click on OK, I can see that here. As you see, you can define any kind of pattern that you like. For example, you need eight digit, you need four digit, you need two letters and four digit, for example. Any kind of pattern that you like. You can define it here or you can ask someone who is familiar with regex to define it for you and then you can use it. So this pattern makes input template very powerful. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed in my channel, please subscribe in my channel now. And if you like my tutorial, hit on that like button.